As we kick off Earth Month, we're taking a closer look today at how a new way to grow the meat we eat could make a big impact on the environment. Americans ate an estimated 75 billion pounds of red meat and chicken last year. But what if some of that meat was not raised on farms, but in high-tech facilities? Scientists say it can mean fewer greenhouse gas emissions and just a fraction of the land and water use. Our Devin Dwyer joins us now with a look. Devin, good to see you. Hey, guys. It's called cultivated meat, real beef and chicken grown from animal cells in large tanks. The FDA has given the green light for safety, and now one company is ready to ramp up production just outside San Francisco. This is what you've called a slaughterless house. Oh, yes. Yeah. The equipment looks like a commercial brewery, but it's not beer they're making. So that's where it all starts, just a few cells. It's meat. So you're making meat in here. Yes. But I don't see any animals and I don't see any animal parts. <laughs> well, that's the trick, right? Stainless steel bioreactors or cultivators produce real meat from animal stem cells. You're making chicken in there. Yeah, so if you look at this, this is a approximately a 200 plus liter tank. And we take cells from a chicken or an egg. Dr. Uma Valetti is a cardiologist who founded Upside Foods, taking on a food chain as old as time. It takes two weeks to grow the equivalent of one chicken, a thousand chickens or a hundred thousand chickens. So you're saying in this factory, you can make more meat faster and cleaner than an average farmer. Well, ultimately, yes. But first, the technology costing billions of dollars to fine tune will need even more investment to scale up. We saw how cells kept on ice can be replicated on a large scale, fed a mixture of vitamins, fats, sugars, and oxygen in tanks, growing into tissues of chicken. Farmers have been growing meat for generations. What problem are you solving here? The demand for meat is continuing to grow and double and double, and we just don't have enough resources nor ability to continue to grow that much meat. So the simple problem we're trying to solve is to bring meat to the table in a way that future generations can have an abundance of it, but with the upside to animal welfare. The potential to exponentially expand the food supply has attracted top-tier investors like Bill Gates, Richard Branson, and Whole Foods founder John Mackey. President Biden is also on board, signing an executive order to support cultivating alternative food sources. Advocates say cultivating meat could feed more families, reduce harm to animals, and eliminate environmental impacts of animal farming, which is responsible for 15 percent of greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. Is it safe? Absolutely. The best indication for this is two months ago, we are the first company in the world to get FDA green light to bring cultivated chicken to the market. FDA says it's safe. FDA said it was safe. It gave a green light to say, go ahead and go to the market. But some say cultivating meat is still just a novelty. How are you going to make an impact in the environment if you cannot scale this as a reasonable cost. Farmers fear a threat to their brand. So what should it be labeled? Cultured meat, lab grown, uh, something that just stands out and lets the consumer know what they're eating. And will consumers even like the taste? Today we're cooking our upside chicken filet and we'll be serving that with a white wine butter sauce and pan roasted vegetables. Can you smell it yet? I can smell it. It, it smells like chicken. And you have to slice it. It's not plant-based piece. All right, my first bite of cultivated meat. It's chicken. Cultivated chicken could soon be on restaurant menus in California and then possibly store shelves for a premium price in a few years. You've called this a watershed moment. Yeah. People are buying meat right now, despite how it's made. What if we can make the process more kinder, caring, healthier, nutritious. I believe nearly everybody will get behind it. Now, before cultivated meat can go on sale in grocery stores, the USDA has to approve a label for the products. What are they going to call it? That could come anytime, guys. And I am told uh, they expect it to get approved sometime this year. And then the big question is, would you buy it? Would you eat it? You know, that's a question. I have another question. <laughs> you, you said it. You said that's like chicken, but what, what was the texture like? Well, it, it, the texture was different than traditional okay. chicken. I'll, I'll tell you that. But it did taste like chicken. And the interesting thing is, scientists say that cultivating meat, they can actually control the fat content in it, so they can make it healthier, less saturated fat, no cholesterol, and then there's no antibiotics, no gro growth hormones when they put it in those tanks. So potentially, if you're into that kind of meat, it could be better for you.
Okay. Well, thanks for diving into it. Let me know if you buy it. Yeah, yeah not I will let you know. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.